started. For day two, we headed towards Kyoto. I had a photo shoot scheduled at Studio Kokoro at 12 o'clock down near Arashiyama Station. So we headed off towards that area and I thought Arashiyama Station was actually really beautiful. As you can see in the photo, this is the outside of Studio Kokoro and it is down in the basement of this one building. And had I not known about this place beforehand, I probably would have just walked past this place and had no idea what happened down below. And I am so glad that I found out about this place before I came out here. When you first get to Studio Kokoro, they will confirm with you which photo plan you chose. So I chose one where I would get all of my CD data with all the photos on it and I would get to wear two different kimono and they give you a laminated paper that has all the pictures of the different kimono that you can wear. And so I had to pick two and it was so hard because they were all so beautiful. So my husband helped me pick my colors and I decided to go with a red and a lavender. After making your selection, they bring you into the dressing room where they ask you to remove all of your garments except for your bra and your underwear. And then they come around and wrap you with this red cloth and take you over to get hair and makeup. The girl who did my hair and makeup, her name was Yuki and she spoke pretty good English. First she had me select a hairstyle which she gave me the top recommendations. Then we picked my eyeshadow color, my eyeliner, my lip color, my nails, the flowers for my hair, and they also added three layers of eyelash extensions. Surprisingly, it only took them about 20 minutes to do both my hair and makeup. As soon as we finished hair and makeup, we went to the next room over where I got to select the kimono that I wear under the big main kimono and I decided to go with a darker color as you can see here in this picture. I also got to select the obi color that I wanted and I got to watch her as she wrapped the obi around me which was a really cool experience. Before your photo shoot begins and while you're waiting if there's someone else ahead of you, they give you time to stand in this one area where they have a ring light and take whatever photos that you would like of yourself. So that's what these photos are from and let's head right into the real photo shoot guys. shoot was over we decided to go get something for lunch so we walked around in downtown Arashiyama and it was oh, such a cute town I loved it so much and there were so many places to choose from to eat and we decided to eat at this one place that served Kobe beef and oh my gosh it was yeah. the most amazing meat that I've ever had in my life it was so expensive but 
It was so worth it. Yeah. There's you another. That's the Udon place I think she was talking about. Yeah. As we were walking, we also saw this store that was a Nako store or a cat store. So everything in it was cat themed and it was so adorable and so cute. I didn't get anything though because uh, I would have spent way too much money. So I just decided the safer thing was for me to just walk away. I also saw signs for this Bengal cat cafe and an owl cafe, I believe. And I was so curious and I really wanted to go, but I just could not justify spending eight dollars to go sit in a cafe with cats seeing as how I have my own two at home. I, uh, I'm just walking with it like this <laughs> and recording while I walk. I thought that was a real dummy issue in there. Uh. After we ate lunch, we headed into the Arashiyama bamboo forest, which was absolutely stunning. And the bamboo shoots here are so tall, and I was surprised with how serene it was. For having so many tourists there and other people, it was just so quiet and beautiful. And I loved hearing all the sound of the birds, and I'm not sure if they were monkeys or not that I was hearing. It might have just been birds, but it was still just a beautiful place to see. After we got through the bamboo forest itself, we actually just kind of walked around on all these roads that led to other temples. We didn't go into those temples, we didn't need to spend any more money walking into other temples, but we just walked around to look at the beautiful scenery. The, the houses here were so cute and it was just, I don't know, I was felt like I was taking a step back in time and just really experiencing lifestyles here. It's incredible that people drive through all these small little streets. Ca cafe latte and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Found these huge lily pads everywhere. I've never seen lily pads that tall. That's crazy.
there's a tunnel down there. Let's see what's there. These were some delicious dongles that we got. So my husband, he got the brown ones that are covered in like a soy sauce. And I got the white ones that have the chocolate, whipped cream, and strawberry on there. And oh my gosh, these were so delightful and amazing. I believe it's like a mochi base on the, of the dongle itself and then the delicious strawberries. So if you ever get to have this while you're in Arashiyama, please do. After we got back from Arashiyama, we decided to try a place that wasn't too far from our Airbnb that we were staying at, and it was called Sanuki Udon Hanamaru, and it was actually really good. My husband got a tonkatsu, and I decided to try the curry, and it was my first kind of Japanese curry experience, and it was so good. I was so impressed. It was delicious, and my mouth was full of so many wonderful flavors, so I really did enjoy this place. 